Closer to home, storm surge floods roads across Citrus County. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith with Michael's impact in Crystal River. Tonight, flooding still a top concern here in western Citrus County. You can see behind me several blocks are underwater along North Citrus Avenue and here downtown along the sidewalk. Water is about halfway up to my knees and in some places it continues to creep closer and closer <laughs> to area businesses. Sandbags provide a line of defense. Magnolia Circle in Crystal River underwater, forcing some to find a new way home. Called a couple of our friends and everyone said the same thing. Close call. Shane Peterson, one of many tonight, anxiously watching water levels inch closer and closer. A couple of fish came up, a couple of fish went out, you know, so a couple of water moccasins. Earlier, waves pummeled picnic tables at Fort Island Gulf Beach. The storm surge so powerful, it washed this car away from the boat ramp into the bay. Only a few miles from there, several inches of water, blanket Crystal Isle RV Resort. It's kind of eerie. The county issuing an immediate evacuation order ahead of Hurricane Michael for RVs and mobile homes. We're hoping now that the tide will continue to go out tonight so the next high tide doesn't come on top of this one and create any more issues. Charlie's Fish House now cleaning up. The family-owned staple on US-19 shut down until Friday due to a waterlogged parking lot. The owners here are thankful. They say this is nothing compared to Michael's wrath on the panhandle. If, if that storm had come close to us, like, like Hermine did, I mean, we, we wouldn't all be standing here doing this interview today. It would, we'd be in trouble big time. I don't know if this building would be here. In Crystal River, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.